How's it going today, folks? The future of LGS here, Jeremy here. Today we have a wonderful first box opening of Wilderness. Um, this set, as we said in our last video, the market is saying, hey, um, we don't like this, but um, I still like it. And like we said, we are going to be playing competitive, so there is a lot that we need to do. Um, for pulling this set and pulling some cards. I'm not going to open too much on the channel, so we'll try to pace it out. Uh, I'm not even going to try to avoid this. This box is like saying I'm pretty full. Holy cow. This is like hard to get open. That's, there's like so many cards in it almost. Uh, unfortunately, there are no box toppers in this, which I think is a little sad, but um, I don't really know if we'll see many box toppers unless it's like a special product. Um, but anyways... Um, overall, the market is not very happy with this set, I would say. Um, the cards, there are some cards that are valuable, but it's just like not very crazy, like first edition, like, oh my gosh, this is just insanity and all that jazz. Um, let's see how they feel. Um, pretty much, pretty similar to second edition. Wow, they're, yeah, they're definitely like second edition. So, um, without further ado, we'll get into it. Um, Banshee of the Badlands. Um, Hiding in the Thickets, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Python, Stone Protection, Cumberland Dragon, it's an interesting card, Shatter Ice, Mind Probe, and we got our Golden Haired Girl for the rare. I actually really like this card. I'm not sure how I feel about it for sure. Um, we will put the Hollow in a sleeve as always, or not as always, but um, as I should at least, in my opinion. Um, all cards, or at least hollows, should be sleeved. But gotta get some sleeves out of the, the case, and then we will get back into it. Um, really like this pack art. Um, not crazy about the packs themselves, because um, I don't really like love the feel of second edition. Second edition, I mean, this is literally like second edition, but it's all right. Um, so let's get into it. Blood Strain. Got Lizard People. Radioactive Hornets. Good card. Toxic Water. Good card. EMP. Uh, maybe. Um, we got a token sitter. Okay. Um, and a phantom card. This card, I had a friend was playing today, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. Iowa Dragon. Interesting. Um, but. Alright. Um, so what, if you guys have not heard, what we are looking for is the green one. I am fairly sure it would be in the, um, hollow slot, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Just realized also, we did not get a um, golden ticket, unfortunately. All oh, right, we did get a germinate, which I'm not 100% sure as well if that is a um, wild seven. I forgot to look up the wild seven. Um, the wild seven, if you guys are not familiar, most sets, at least so far, I believe every set actually has had cards that you cannot get in reverse, or you cannot get like reverses of this or a regular one, but you can only get them in all foil. So they're a little bit harder to get. Got a shovel, we got a Joe, Spirit Veil, Poplic Monster, and we got a Orc Howler. So that's, that's, I don't know. I haven't read this card actually. Um, this page costs three aura. Oh, Token BC, so not very good. Cause you can destroy, I mean, you can destroy a target Token BC, but it costs four dark, so. It's kind of a lot of dark to just destroy a token. So we got a Banshee again, a Flare Shot, River Mermaid, Spear Finger, EMP, Survival Instincts, Ozark Howler, and we got a Jackalope. Okay. And so far I would say um, nothing spectacular. We got that one Germinate, which is nice, but uh, we're looking for that green one. That's that's what we want. That is the secret rare, or whatever you want to call it, is that is in the pack, so we can still pull it. Um, because, like I said, there are no box toppers. So, Banshee, Idle Potatoes, Medallion Monster, Shockburn, John Henry, Stone Eating Something, I or another, Phantom Car, and Pearl of Desire. Okay. Um, one thing I don't like about this set is look at the reverse on this. There's, like, no reverse. Like, it's... <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. Like, there's... Like, it's kind of like... Um, flesh and blood where like you can barely tell it's foil like some of the cold foils are sometimes so hard to tell that the card is foil 
but that's all right. So we got Artifact Barrier, got a Friendly Snowman, Rest in Peace, got a Shovel, El Verde Entity, Weeping Black Angel. This card is super annoying, in my opinion, but Nightmare Watchers, and we got a Kindly Sparkroy, as well as an um, Atomic Jellyfish. This card is very good and cosmic um so i do need to correct something when i said cosmic um cosmic is actually a lot better than i thought it was um i did play against a cosmic deck um or watch someone play a cosmic deck and it was it did a lot better than i thought i don't know if it will be necessarily top tier but you know that's why we play this card is actually pretty good too um chestering rocks Shockburn, joe all right, we got a Wampus Cat and a Void Spell. So, nothing too spicy yet. Right? We haven't gotten that Prism Aura. That's what we want is that Prism Aura. Um, besides the green one, obviously. But I would really like a Prism Aura because that would um, help a friend out in building their deck because I already got my two, but I do need that card. So, got a Tidal Pull. Uh, I'm kind of torn on how I feel about that card. All right, we got a Golden Bear. For our one of the hollows um ooh, that was those are all damage now um i played against this card today and it was it was okay i would say it wasn't like amazing but it was it definitely was annoying um it gets plus for um if you have i believe 10 light cards in play and it does count tokens so it was okay explosion honey something cobrew elbow swamp monster Janet, Wildfire, The Earthquake, and Woolly Mammoth. All right. To another token sitter. It's all right. We'll get getting there. Um, Got to pick up the speed just a little bit, so maybe we won't go into every single card because we're getting to the point where you're going through the comments pretty quick. So haven't seen Curse, so I will talk about that or just mention that. Um, and we got a Skunk Ape. I don't think there's anything else different. But, oopsies. Again, those are all damaged. Just kidding. Um, for those folks who are interested in the wilderness stuff, um, I'm kind of torn how I want to do wilderness on the website. So I would like you guys, if you guys are interested in MetaZoo singles, to comment on this video or email me at info at the future of LGS.com. Um, all right, we got a hollow jackalope. Or, yeah, Jackalope. Um, or email me at info at the future of LGS.com. If you are interested in purchasing product, let me know. And I can maybe put it on the website, or maybe we can just work something out. But I don't know yet for sure. Um, we got Chibi Bigfoot. Haven't gotten a Megalodon Tooth, which is one card I really want. Because I really like that. Just the art of it is beautiful. I also like the color combination, but we shall see what we get. We got a Bildad, a Flare Shot, and we got a Fountain of Youth. All right. Getting a lot of Reverse Hollows, which is, you know, a little unfortunate, but, you know, such is life sometimes. So we got a Camouflage Potion, Thicket. Got an Awful. Okay, so I, there are a lot, and a Germinate. That was a pretty good pack. Um, a lot of people are talking about this card. It is a very big beastie. I, I don't know. I can't remember if it's the biggest beastie in the game. If Mothman is bigger, I think it is the biggest beastie. Um, it's very expensive. Six black is a lot. Um, but I don't know. It is a very interesting card, I would say. We got a Thundering Lake Sigil. Okay. Beautiful card. I really like that card. It's really pretty. Um, the moon, and I think that's an eye, or maybe that's a sun, I don't know. Ooh, this card, I hope this card isn't the secret rare. This card, this pack did not open very well. Nope, no secret in this one. Um, I am curious what you guys think of this set. Um, overall, like we said in the last video, I really do believe that this set isn't necessarily going to go over the moon overnight, but I do believe it is underpriced. Um, I think that, especially with all of the chase cards that could be in it, 
um, with all the Seeker Rares, the Serialized card of the green one. I believe that this set will go up. I am not a financial advisor, and I don't necessarily say you should just listen to whatever I say because I am just a guy in the basement. But I do believe this product um, will slowly go up over time um, and is very is a very interesting product. It is, uh, like, I believe the technically the third or fourth expansion. So kind of following, like, Flesh and Blood days, like, it's not going to be a $1,000 product overnight. Like, maybe... 10, 15 years down the line, maybe. All right, Mishu Pishu. All right, that's a good card. I looked this up earlier, and it was like 20 bucks, so I'll take that. Um, and I believe I need a couple of them. I don't know how playable it is, but it seems like a good card. It costs a lot, but it does have a very strong effect, which is kind of like pseudo-draw, which is always good. All right, let's see what we got. We got a Kindly Sparkfoot. Hmm which is um, generates, it's basically dual land for those magic players who are watching. It's a dual, dual land for um, fire and lightning. So, and it costs zero, but it does have life, so it can die. Let's see what we got. We got a, a rubberoo, or yeah, rubberoo. We are not getting the best pulls in this box. This pull, this box has been kind of honestly pretty bad. Um, I don't know what a typical wilderness box looks like, but, um, you know, that's all right. We are here for the experience. So we got an explosive rabbit. We got a frost elemental. We got a power up purple, shock burn, armored scales, sudden camouflage, and a wampus cat, and something. I don't know. I'm just being kind of weird. Um, I am opening this pretty late at night, so if I do pull the green one... Um, I'll probably still be pretty, pretty, pretty loud. I'm pretty, pretty tired, but it'll be pretty, pretty dang exciting. All right, we got a green clawed monster and a, and a, um, hateful demise. I was like, why can't I, why can't I speak English right now? So we're getting into the last little bit of the box. Um, again, I would really like you guys to comment below what you guys think of kind of this change to a little bit more competitive talk as well as just like kind of the market. Um, nice, we got to germinate. Um, so far, um, kind of getting back to the market, like I said, the market is kind of rejecting Wilderness. They did find out there is a golden ticket, like we said, um, which is very interesting in my opinion. Um, and we don't know exactly what that is a nice a golden bear um but i did hear from someone that it might be like you trade that in for a certain amount of boxes or something i do not know if that is true but that is what i heard oh that was super flimsy i hope this one has a secret that'd be cool explosive rabbit and we got a a snow glass glass car i haven't seen that card actually so that's kind of cool Looks like some sort of dragon. So, all right, let's let's get something good in the clothes. Let's get like a, um, I don't even know, Prismora, Prismora, that'd be nice. There's no Mothman or no nothing super crazy, but I feel like we haven't even gotten like a Bigfoot or anything like of the Wild Seven or anything, which is you know kind of unfortunate. Like I said, I don't know exactly what the Wild Seven are in this set yet. Um, I will probably try to figure it out. Um, I think they've all been pulled, at least. I'm, I'm like 99% positive they've all been pulled. Anti-Potion Potion. For those of you who are playing, this card is super interesting. Um, it's basically kind of like a counter spell that says, hey, you can't play this potion. But you have to play it every turn. Or you have to play it every counter, kind of. It's kind of a confusing card, but it's a very strong card, in my opinion. Um, but you can't play like, like we've said, lightning in a bottle is super good. You can't play lightning in a bottle because you can't play other potions not named anti-potion. So kind of an interesting card, but all right, we got a Cumberland dragon. So that's, um, that's a card that people are chasing. Um, kind of because it's a fan card as well as I believe it's, I think it's good. Let me read it. Okay. So that's, that's not, that's not terrible. It has flying, which is nice. 
Um, and I can't remember what symbol that is, the new because the, the new symbols have changed. But so let's see what we got. We got a couple packs left. Another anti potion. And we got a golden hair girl. All right, all right. Um, I was talking to a buddy of mine, and we were talking about spirit and earth, and we we couldn't decide which one we didn't like. Um, I'm not saying those types are bad right now, but we both didn't really like them. So um, I I don't know what all all the cards do yet in both of those sets, but. Um, yeah, it, those, those, if you're playing competitively, at least for now, you might want to stay away from those two. Again, could be wrong. I'm not perfect. If you guys see some glaring weakness in that strategy where there's just a broken combination, um, let me know in the comments. All right, we got a foil Iowa dragon. That is a really pretty foil, honestly. All right, this pile is getting a little big, but... So in the close of this video, um, I just want to let you guys know we will be doing more Wilderness in the future. Trying to pull that green one and some Prismoras. But, you know, we're, we're here for the enjoyment. Um, I would like you guys to let me know what you guys... Oh, I thought that was the green one. I really did. I kind of freaked out there for a second. Oh my gosh, that was... Whew. Um, anyway, sorry about that. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from my channel. I am kind of torn right now between a lot of the competitive talk as well as um, like just kind of like enjoying the collecting. Um, I have sold a lot of sealed product and a lot of singles recently, but I really am interested in competitive. But I don't know. It's kind of like kind of like I can't do everything, but I am still interested in providing you guys with the best content that we can. So last pack of this box and doesn't look like we got a, uh, all right, we did get a Megalodon tooth, so that's cool, but not a hollow one. That looks really cool. Um, we did um, get an all right box, I would say. I, I definitely would say this is a little under the radar, but um, this is a good card and Cosmic, Cumberland Dragon. We did get um, Mishu Pashu, which is good. Um, and then, yeah, then that Hollow Germanite. But um, overall, th folks, thanks for watching as always. Um, comment below, like I said, um, what you guys would like to see in other videos on this channel. Um, and, anyways, see you in the future.